not one to like, you know, wait while they, you know, and they like tackled them. Wait, 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 wait. they tackled Anthony Kiedis? Yep. Bad. <laughs> Look it up. I think Zach might call him. Google that sh Oh, thanks, John. Yeah, let me fix up there. Do you have any schmutz or? You get any paint? I don't see any paint. What's on your mind? What do you want to know? I want to know because my whole life I've known you as the drummer of my favorite band that isn't the Beatles. It's always been the Chili Peppers right there. That, that's Take that. I, th I think that's a good echelon to uh, the Beatles. Very happy it's with that. It's always been it is, and I've always known you as a drummer for that band. Yeah. And now I'm walking into a gallery and I'm seeing dozens of beautiful artworks. Yeah. So how long have you been waiting to kind of just tiger out of the cage, release your art onto the <laughs> canvas? How long have you wanted to do this? Um, well, it wasn't like, oh, this is this really, I have to do this, I have to do this. It's more, I was looking for another creative outlet and I love all kinds of art and obviously music is the one that's that my passion has been since I've been a, a young kid. It makes sense to me because it's a connection for me drumming music and trying to convey that onto a flat surface, onto a canvas type surface. Well do you have a song by Chili Pepper you think kind of matches your artwork? Oh, uh, no, and not particularly. People ask me, like, are you playing a song when you do it? I'm, I'm just, I'm improvising. I'm just playing whatever in the moment. And the process, if I can explain it a little bit, is I'm in a dark room and I'm oiled up. No, I'm in a dark, <laughs> very dark room and I'm playing the drums and I have these fl uh, fluorescent light up sticks, different colors. And the intensity that I hit the drums, they'll get brighter as I hit them harder and as I come off the drums they fade so that you will get that's how you get the fluidity and the motion and, and they, they photographed me in the dark on this collection I've embellished some of the work so it, whatever however again I'm in the moment I'm looking at it and I'm like I think this needs that or how about a screwdriver or this or that or wh whatever was at my disposal I just kind of went for it yeah well it's fun it's fun Improvising it, and when I think of Chili Peppers, I've seen you guys many times. You are, you like to jam. You right. like to improvise. So this is a jam. This is a jam. That's right a here. jam. That's right. That's a Chad Smith That's jam. That's a Chad Smith jam. Two-dimensional. Right. And what's great about you guys, the language you have, the language you and Flea have, when I think about John Frusciante coming back, that's another person, that, like, the three of you seem to have this language so you yes. can improvise together. Yeah, kind of an unspoken musical telep telepathy. And every yeah. time he comes back, do you have that? Would that just comes back to life again? You know, he just he just came back in, in our group and we've been playing for a couple of weeks now and, and yeah, we have a special thing. It's pretty cool. Has anything changed this time? Because usually when he left the band it was because he didn't like the limelight that much. He yeah. didn't like the touring so much. So what's different this time? He's more self-aware, I think, and he wants to be in a band again, you know, and he just did stuff on his own that he wanted to do. And he, he's that kind of person, like when he sets his mind to do something, he really wants to do that and is very specific. And so he was like, I want to play guitar and be in a band. And this is the only band that I want to be in. This is my the band that I love and I should be in this band. And we had some long discussions about stuff. And yeah, he's in a good place. So we're like, let's, let's do it. I want to do a lightning round of really quick questions with you. And that, that's OK with you. OK. I call it the red hot round. Oh God. I'm gonna ask you a bunch of really quick questions. Okay. Credit card number. Don't know. Who's your favorite band ever? Led Zeppelin. If you could have been in one other band, who would it be? Led Zeppelin. Or maybe The Who, or maybe Jimi Hendrix. What's your favorite song that you and Frusciante covered on stage? Like How Deep Is Your Love, Tiny Dancer. We did Fox on the Run by, um, by Sweet. My favorite ones are you guys do How Deep Is Your Love, yeah. and Frusciante messes up a little bit. You come in with the drums, and then Key just tries to start harmonizing with him, and it throws him off. <laughs> and he kind of messes up, he Or screams. the bass line. Yeah, if Lee's not on the right play. bass line because it's, there's, there's a timing thing. Is that possible? Has Lee ever played a bass line wrong? Yes. What's the song Hump to Bump about? I don't write the words, so I don't, I don't really... I have a couple guesses. All right. <laughs> yeah, I don't on. know. <laughs> I like the percussion breakdown, though. That's right. No, yeah. Your best percussion breakdown is Breaking the Girl on Blood Sugar Sex Magic, okay. when you did like the whole trash can right, thing. Right, right, yeah, 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 that was fun. I'm a fan of yours. I've, I, now I can tell Are you. Are you gathering this? Kind of freaking me out a little bit. What's the song you're most tired of playing? Tired of playing? I like playing all of them, I really do. That's a good answer. Thanks. Is it Give It Away though? 
No, because it's usually the last one, so we're done. Will you agree to nickname me Danny California? No. So D A N N Y. Okay. <laughs> well, that's the last question. I used it. We're ending on a no then. Houston, Jacksonville, yes. San Diego, Boston. That's yeah. it. Chad Smith. Well, for now, yeah. For now. Yeah, thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Thank you, Chad Smith. My pleasure. I appreciate that.